Welcome to the Hive, everybody, and thank you for watching. This may be your first time here at the Beehive, so welcome. And today we're going to talk about why data Filipina. Why data Filipina? We're going to talk about a foreigner's relationship with the Filipina, the Filipina's relationship with the foreigner. We'll talk about everything. You definitely hit the lotto if you find a good lady, a good Filipina, you, you hit that lotto. And it's really great if you can find that lady. But the culture in the Philippines is so much different than America. And it's just different. So when you're looking to find a Filipina lady, you're looking to find somebody in a totally different culture. You might ask yourself, why are foreigners so attracted to the Filipina? It's probably because they're very beautiful. Filipinas are really gorgeous and they just have a natural beauty about them. It's rare to find an ugly Filipina. There is a perception that the Filipinas are basically good people. And that's true. Filipinas are really great. But not all Filipinas are the same, right? Just like not all foreigners are the same. But if you find a good Filipina, you have the end of the rainbow in a pot of gold. You talk about foreigners from all over the world. We're all so different. You know, people from the United States are just so different from Canada, from England. We're all so different. We're all unique. None of us are the same. I have people from my home state of California, and they are nothing like me living in the Philippines. So we're all different. We're all unique, and we must be judged differently. Because a lot of people would put us all in one basket, saying all foreigners are the same. That is not true. Today we talk about what a Filipina likes in a foreigner, and what a foreigner likes in a Filipina. It's two different worlds coming together. But don't worry, I still make the motorcycle vlogs, the travel vlogs, I like doing everything. It's really fun. It makes it fresh, you know, it makes it nice. And I have been a single guy for quite a while here. And I was able to have a couple of really nice girlfriends. I love them very much. A few days ago, my computer went down. And I was using my other computer looking at YouTube analytics of my channel. And I noticed that the viewership of my American audience, which was number one forever, it actually got passed a little bit by the Philippine audience. And I was like, whoa! I love the American uh, audience, and I love the Philippine audience too, and England number 75% women between 18 and 30 years old in the Philippines, and I thought, I need to make a blog for you, it's a universal word, it's universal, it's everywhere. Love is a very special word, it's the most powerful word in the dictionary, it is. And people either have love in their life and they're very happy, or they're seeking love. However, beauty comes from the inside too. It's not always the looks. We know that looks fade in time. People are gorgeous and then they become not so gorgeous. So it's very important for the inside, for people to look on the inside because when the looks fade, it's the inside that's going to carry you through. Oftentimes, a Filipina will look at a foreigner for financial reasons. Of course, the, all the Filipinas think that the foreigners are all the same. They're all rich. <laughs> Not true. So it's important for the Filipina to look at the person also. Not just the ATM style machine. Because foreigners are not all rich. Not all foreigners are the same. So there's some poor foreigners, there's some medium foreigner class, and there's some rich foreigners. Oftentimes, a Filipina looks at a foreigner to help them for their financial reasons because their families are poor. You know, like when people get past the age of 30 in the Philippines, sometimes you can't even find employment. So a lot of older people like moms and dads, they have no job. In America, you know, they collect SS and they have good jobs and stuff like that. But in the Philippines, it's different. So when a person meets a foreigner, they think sometimes of their financial reason because sometimes families are having a hard time. It's pandemic times, you know, people have no money, they're struggling to eat, they're struggling to pay their electricity bill. 
So it's perfectly logical that a Filipina would look at a foreigner for financial reasons. That makes sense. Foreigners, they look at the Filipina for many reasons. Hopefully for the good reason. They want to date, they want to find somebody good in their life, they're lonely, they want companionship, they want love, they want marriage, they want a family. Those are all good reasons to find a Filipina. Of course, not all foreigners are the same like we just talked about earlier. And some foreigners, they want to be supportive, they want to be good, and they want to be just good people. But a lot of times foreigners don't like to be just ATM machines of the family. Because some Filipinas, they have large families in the Philippines. Sometimes there's six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, a thousand kids in the family. And the foreigner doesn't feel like he wants to support everyone. Foreigners nowadays are very smart, you know, they're not stupid, so the Filipinas must understand that they must be careful of the steps they walk with the foreigner. Many foreigners not only seek a Filipina for her beauty on the outside, which is very beautiful, lots of these ladies are gorgeous, but it's on the inside that really counts the most. And a lot of women I've noticed in the Philippines are very insecure about themselves. And when a foreigner meets a woman, the woman has a different view of things than the man. That's usually the case, right? You know that. <laughs> and the woman's very self-conscious in the Philippines. You know, she's worried about the color of her skin. And she wonders if she's too dark, she's too light. She's bleaching her face with soap. And There's no need for that, okay? And they worry about their armpits here. I notice the girls, they always look at their armpits. And I'm like, who cares about your armpits? And we're not looking at your armpits. And the girls just think about lots of, a lot of the girls in the Philippines, not all, they're flat chested a little bit. And it doesn't matter, okay? The guys, you know, are not looking at just, you know, one thing. And the girls worry about their dress, about the homes they live in, about everything. The Filipino girls like to worry all the time. But it's no need, why? Because the girls can just dress simple. They can dress in their casual clothes, their blue jeans, their sweats. They look just fine. So the Filipina needs not to worry about it. We love you just the way you are. There's a Billy Joel song that says, I love you just the way you are. And that's the truth. And it's just the way it is. So don't change anything. Be that natural beauty you are. And the foreigners will really like you so much. I believe I can fly. One thing's for sure is that the looks fade. You know, we get old, we get gray, we get ugly. <laughs> it happens to all of us. So the women get very insecure when they get older. When you turn about 30, you become like an old maid in the Philippines. And if you're not married or have children, people wonder, what's wrong with you? Well, nothing's wrong with you. In America, women 30 years old just finished college and they're thinking about a boyfriend. And in the Philippines, people wonder, what's wrong with you? And there's nothing wrong with you at all. Also, when a girl has a boyfriend in the Philippines, they're always worrying about if the boy is going to leave them and everything like that. And there's no need because if the girl has a good heart and she's a good, loyal woman to her man, she's faithful, she's honest, she doesn't have a lot of guys on the side, she's a true woman, then the guy has really no reason to leave her. But oftentimes the lady gets insecure and she leaves the guy before that happens. I know that feeling. And it's not true. You know, the woman just needs to stick it out with the guy. And, you know, we all have bad times. You know, we all have moods. We all say things we shouldn't say. We all behave in bad ways sometimes. But the truth is, if the woman sticks it out and has a good heart, the man will stay with her. Let me give you a hint, ladies. If the man loves you on the inside, who you are, it doesn't matter. He will probably stick with you forever. So don't worry about the younger girls, the, the younger women coming up, the new, the new crop of beauties. Because if you have a good heart and you're loyal and you're sincere, you're good to your man. I noticed that one of the common traits in the Philippines that women are extremely jealous. They're jealous animals. They really are jealous, and it's okay to be jealous, it's okay to love somebody, it's okay to have a little jealousy. Jealousy is, is good. 
However, jealousy can be taken too far, and oftentimes a woman will be overly jealous, overly insecure, wondering what's going on every second of the day. She'll be so nervous about her man. She'll be bothering him. And what that does, it makes the guy go crazy. It makes the guy like not like that girl or that woman or whatever. And he wants to maybe move on. So the best hint for the ladies is to not be overly jealous. A long time ago, I had a girlfriend who was overly jealous. And she was just incredibly jealous. I mean, everywhere I, I'd look a little bit on the, riding my motorcycle, and she would say, why are you looking at that girl? What are you doing? She hit my head, you know? And I was like, wow, this is too much. You know, I'm a guy. And so one time this guy, he was a friend of mine, was listening to this girl, and he said to the lady, you know, you better stop it. And she said, stop what? And he said, stop your jealousy, because Brian will not stay with you. He will leave. And she said, no, he will stay with me forever. I will make him stay. And she was really jealous, and she was always jealous, and everybody saw it. The connection between a Filipina and a foreigner is very important. And sometimes both are looking for totally different things. A lot of times the foreigner will look at the lady's beauty. He wants to be with a woman. There's nothing wrong with that. And then the woman will sometimes look at the foreigner like she wants, you know, some help or something like that. And the foreigner does not like to feel like the ATM machine. I think most foreigners are nice, they're kind, they're generous. They want to be nice to people and their families. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes the foreigners doesn't like to be like feeling like they're being abused also as far as for money. So it's important that the Filipina thinks more about that and thinks that, you know, we should think more of love than ATM or money. So it's important that the Filipina shows the foreigner that she loves him deeply and then the rest will happen. Many foreigners look at a Filipina for their beauty, their love, their relationship, to have a good life with that person and to love that person. You know, a lot of foreigners are good people. And the Filipina needs to understand that it's important that they listen to each other and that foreigner listen to the Filipina because both come from different worlds and both have different viewpoints of things. Then you have a man and a woman, of course they're not the same. So then you have a culture difference, you have a man and woman difference. So it's important that both sides, the foreigner and the Filipina, they listen to each other, they talk. And then when they talk, that means it's important to that person. So listen to what they're saying. Gone are the days of the lady living in that fishing village far away, there's no communication. You know, and then they had the cell phones they could text. And now they have the internet. They can talk on Messenger. They can talk with people all over the world. It's important that when a man is with a woman, that he respects the relationship. That the man and the woman, they understand their roles. They talk about it. They talk about what they expect from each other. And they go ahead and they mutually have that relationship. Whatever it is, it's important that they discuss it. And they go ahead and they live it. It's much harder when you have a long distance relationship. If you're talking from somebody from a different country, you're texting each other. You know, lots of things can happen when the other person is not looking and nobody knows. So it's just difficult to have that particular close relationship. So when you're texting someone, I think it's not the same as when you're together. LDR, long distance relationship. Do you know? I know that one. And it's difficult. And you know, it's always better to be with that person, right? Than to be texting them thousands of miles away. So it's important to somehow be with that person because texting and stuff is it's really difficult. Of course, with the pandemic and the travel situations, it's really difficult. <laughs> Filipino woman. They're really nice. They're beautiful. They're attractive. A lot of them have a heart of gold. 
And so if you find that Filipina that's really good on the inside, you found your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs>